In mid-2009, producers Darcy Bonser and Lisa Sloges set out to create an entertaining half-hour of family-friendly fun. What they got instead was The Mutant Way. What they got was 13 weeks of on-screen comedy gold. But when the cameras stopped rolling, rumors ran rampant of riffs, drug scandals and wild cast parties. Well, at one point, Liam Amor was sleeping with every member of the cast and the crew. It's true, I did a strip routine. The audience. You know, improvisers, someone makes an offer, you say yes, the next thing you know, you're standing on a table naked. The drug scandals, they, uh, they, nearly tore the, they nearly tore the cast apart. I mean, you would have read about it. There were crews, uh, but members of the crew and cast would charter flights to Afghanistan and uh, harvest directly from the poppy fields. Their, their habits were so intense. They're all Robbie Lloyd. Complete egomaniac. Egomaniac through and through. They're the ones that sleep with dead people, right? Yeah, it's Robbie. And while the show was a success, one of the highest rating shows on Channel 31's lineup, there were some hurdles along the way. The hardest thing about making the mutant way? Well, that's a silly question. Probably Rob Lloyd. Rob, definitely Rob Lloyd. Oh yeah, oh, definitely, definitely Rob Lloyd. Yeah, definitely Rob. Yep. I don't see why I have to answer that question, I mean. Rob Lloyd. The host, without question. I think you're wasting your time. Robert Lloyd. Definitely Rob Lloyd. Sadly, the belligerent host wasn't the only problem on the horizon for the producers. Look, don't get me wrong, the cast were great, yeah. but often they would completely fly off the handle. Get the f out of here. Get me the f out of here. Are we still wrong, my mofos? Okay, hey, hey, my That's mofos. Um, because when he first came in, he said, you did a good Irish accent. And I did on the first show. So it made me feel good. And anybody that strokes my ego is a friend. Is that John Deeks? And although the team of Rob Lloyd and Ryan Thomas put a smile on our faces each week with their opening sketch, when the cameras stopped rolling, off screen, the two held a bitter rivalry. It, there was a vicious rumor started, I think it was started by Ryan, that we were actually friends. Awkward. I really enjoyed working with Rob. I think it was a really uh, equal, solid partnership. Well, Ryan, you know, Ryan has a lot to learn. I see our relationship as sort of a you know, Mr. Miyagi, Hillary Swank, Karate Kid 4 type relationship. It was just, it was a lot of fun, and I think that went through to the audience too, which is important. And for all his shortcomings, no one could deny Rob's hold over the audience. Uh, this didn't always lead to a positive crowd reaction. I haven't been back to work since the mutant weight saving. Look at my hands! I think the power in the end just went to Rob's head. I mean, when he actually tried to change the theme song of the show, I mean, seriously, that was the last straw. The mutant weight! The mutant weight! The mutant weight! Tonight, on the season finale of The Mutant Way, Rick Brown, Nigel Walton, Paddy Styles, and special guest Claire Hooper battle it out with Liam Amor, Rama Nicholas, Mark Gambino, and our special guest Josh Lawson, plus a very special guest appearance from the Scared Weird Little Guys. All that and more coming up now on the season finale of The Mutant Way.